Area business and community professionals are preparing to drop their briefcases and pick up their microphones. The annual Suits That Rock event is coming up and joining us this morning is John Damasco and Nancy Grayson to tell us more. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Remember this from last year. This was a chance to break free of the business and uh, have a lot of fun singing. So tell us about your event coming up. Well, it's kind of uh, a celebration of the split personality of musicians <laughs> and and business leaders. Uh, about, well, 2007, Kevin Canifax and I were talking about the people that we knew that led businesses and universities that were fallen away musicians who mm -hmm. got a day job and kind of left it behind and decided that it would be fun to do uh, an event that involved rock music with uh, some of these people that we're not used to seeing in t-shirts and jeans yeah. with guitar strapped on. Doing something so. they do well outside of the work office, something right. that they're really wanting to show off, it sounds like. So uh, groups have planned songs and they've been practicing. And tell us about the event and what's going to be taking place. Mm -hmm. So each year, this is our ninth year doing this, we mm -hmm. have different themes. And this year's theme has a lot of high energy. And we're really featuring radio music over the decades from the 60s all the way up to current music. So we have over 11 uh, DJs that are coming and presenting in between the performances with all of the different acts and we have over 40 different performers per playing with us too. And we're looking at some of the photos. The groups really get into this. There are oh. there's coordination and there's a whole <laughs> lot of soul put into it. Is that a right, good way to put it? Absolutely. <laughs> we uh, we generally, we were fairly uh, organized about how we put the set list together. Okay. There are four of us who work on that in the fall and so people are really assigned their songs. Uh, and I don't ask people to tell me what costumes they're going to wear. <laughs> it, when they walk out on Someday stage that first people, show, yeah. it's, a, it's a surprise. We, we, we require everybody be dressed. If I, but, mean, I can see you know, a coworker, you want, a lot of coworkers I imagine are the people in the crowd and family members right. really rooting them on. Is it a contest or just performances? No, okay. It is, it is uh, anything but a competition. Everybody's <laughs> competing with themselves. Okay. And, and if they come to a rehearsal and they're not ready, I mean, you can just see the angst on their faces <laughs> because they, they're disappointed in themselves yeah. and they go back and, and work on it. And by the time we get to the show, you'd be blown away at how good the quality right. of the music is. Right. Well, thanks for coming in again to tell us about it. Looks like so much fun each year and I'm sure everyone on stage really enjoys it as well. The ninth annual Suits That Rock is coming to the Carnegie in Covington the next two Saturdays. It'll be June 18th and the 25th. Tickets are $60. You can call 859-957-1940 for more information. John and Nancy, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.